Hey, what's going on, dudes? I'm Maggie Killer 44 here, bringing you a brand new video. And today, we're going to talk about 10 singers who got caught limp syncing. Lip syncing. Some people here have a knack for raising the fame and fortune without so much as moving a finger or their lips. Yes, some celebs can lip sync so well that we could maybe even pass it off as a skill. After all, it isn't that uncommon for singers to use backing tracks, especially when there's a large outdoor arena with wind or other factors which would impact the sound quality. Several singers lip sync during the Macy's Day Parade for better quality on the floats. Despite the fact that backtracking and some amount of lip singing are common in vocal performance, it's understandable why fans would be pretty disappointed. Would you be happy playing hundreds, paying of hundreds of dollars for front row seats at a concert only to discover that the show wasn't even live? And usually when someone's caught, it isn't even good lip syncing. But just like performers, sometimes sound technici te technicians mess up too, leading to some pretty embarrassing moments. It would be impossible to recount every lip sync fail that hit the headlines, but here are 10 performers who were caught in the act. The act of lip syncing, that is. Number 10, Audrey Hepburn in 1962. Our first performer on this list doesn't exactly fit the profile for a lip syncer who got caught, but it's worth noting that the history of lip syncing. The idea of using a track in movies and live performances isn't exactly a new concept. Plenty of Hepburn fans found themselves disappointed after learning that the My Fair Lady female lead didn't, didn't actually sing most of the songs that made the 1960s film. The real voice behind such favorites as I Could Could Have Danced All Night and Show Me was Marnie Nixon. Marnie Nixon is not only the ghost singer behind Hepburn, however. She's been the real voice behind the Hollywood star in numerous musicals, including The King and I, West Side Story, and others. Sorry to ruin all your favorite classic films for you in one paragraph. Audrey Hepburn sang a few songs, and she does have a decent voice. She's not awful by any means, but ultimately, the acting went to Hepburn while the voice went to Nixon. So next time you watch My Fair Lady, just remember to give a little credit to Marnie Nixon as well. Number nine, Millie Vanilli in 1989. Girl, you know it's not true. If you're talking about the singer of the duo that made up Millie, Millie Vanilli, the pair consisted of R&B and, R and singers Rab Fab Morgan and Rob Politis hired by German producer Frank Furion. These two quickly rose to fame and fortune in 1988, but after late 1989, MTV performance gone wrong. It was discovered the two were lip-syncing, which wasn't entirely surprising considering how much dancing around they were doing. In any case, that was the beginning of the end for Vanilli Vanilli, and their 15 minutes of fame eventually ended up after a series of lawsuits over disagreements with the producer about ownership and fraud protection. Number eight, Ashley Simpson in 2004. Here's Ashley Simpson blaming her sound team for an embarrassing moment. At least she did a nice jig there at the end. Unfortunately for Simpson, she became the butt of a joke on Family Guy, which might portray a superior performance than the actual one. Her response might have gotten her more backlash than the actual incident, which provides a lesson out there to other singers out there. When things don't go well, just own it. Don't go blaming the tech team. Number seven, Lindsay Lohan in 2004. Why is it gonna be? Why does everything gotta be in 2004? At least the end of the year, 2004 was mind blowing. It was the best year ever. Lindsay Lohan, the star of The Parent Trap and later Mean Girls, had a long time career goal of fit releasing her own album. In 2004, the album Speak came out, featuring the single Rumors. The punk style young new artist emerged to promote the new album on an episode of Good Morning America. The performance sounds Good, but uncannily like the recording of the album, which seems like a pretty good sign someone is lip syncing, because live never sounds like studio. To be fair, though, Lohan denied the accusations back in 2004, explaining there were some backing tracks for the first song, but only of the background singers. What do you think? Considering she's re since released another album and several singles, including Back to Me in 2020, the questions didn't seem to cause ripples in her career the way Ashley Simpson awkward performance did. Number six, Sarah Harding, 2000s. Singer Sarah Harding passed away from breast cancer last year, so I think it's fair to include her here as a sort of a tribute. Yes, she did lip sync as, mo as most artists have done, but as you can see from other performance, it wasn't as if she couldn't sing, which is really the case for most of these artists, to be fair. 
but it doesn't help with the embarrassment at that moment. Supposedly, she didn't do a very convincing job of lip-syncing the song Lorraine during a performance in 2015. Considering it was that obvious, maybe the singer learned her lesson. Number 5, Britney Spears in 2007. Unfortunately for Britney, much of her career was overshadowed by accusations of lip-syncing most, if not at all, of her performances. According to the singer, this is not true. She just got caught in a few unfortunate incidents. One of the most embarrassing was her performance at the MTV Awards circa 2007. Unfortunately, her lip-syncing wasn't exactly in sync. Things weren't off for a great start in her return from an already, already rough year. If you were following the early 2000s, Britney's saga, you're aware her marriage ended in 2006, the media can be cruel, and she had to deal with not only the collapse of her own family life, but the visceral reactions from the public, uh, accusing her of not being a good mother and other similar comments. Considering all she was going through, I think we can all stretch a little sympathy for the fact that her heart may not have been completely in the performance of Give me, give me more. Granny, I'm not now going to lose money. Not that I get paid for these videos or anything. But it certainly didn't help the situation. It tarnished her reputation enough that the talk of lip-syncing her performances continued without much of a break, eventually earning some frustration from the frustrated star. Number four, Queen Bee herself, Beyonce, 2013. This one was a bit of a surprise considering the huge brand Beyonce was, has built for herself, and she's obviously talented. talented. So why lip-sync? This wasn't some accusation. Beyonce did lip-sync the national anthem at the inauguration of the tw in 2013. Inauguration of who? The president? 2013 was an election? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. 2012. Well, I'm a dumbass. When asked about it, she didn't deny it. However, she defended her decision, claiming she wanted to ensure the, vo the focus was on the president, not her performance. She also said she didn't have the time to rehearse with, with the orchestra. So to be fair, we can all recognize the national anthem as a pretty big deal, and everybody knows if you screw up. Can we blame her for playing it safe at something so high profile? Plenty do. Nevertheless, lip-syncing the national anthem didn't seem to have much of a negative effect on Beyonce's fan base. Number three, Katy Perry in 2013. I have to give her credit. Katy Perry saved herself this one. I would have wanted to roar. <laughs> in any case, there is an example of saving the performance. It's obvious from the second take that Perry is singing live, and she pulls it off with, without making too much of a big deal starting over. Though it seems embarrassing to be caught lip-syncing your own single at a music award show. It is obvious from the list, it's fairly hard to tell the reasons performers choose to lip-sync. She saved it on the second take, though, and you could tell from the cheering in the crowd nobody seems to have yelled, yelled it against, held it against her. Number two, Selena Gomez, 2010s. Selena Gomez, who released her debut solo album, Stars Dance, in 2013, continues to undergo scrutiny over lip-syncing. Pair that, pair that with her public outburst, sometimes in the form of expli expletives on a hot mic. I don't know. And you end up with a lot of disappointed fans. Fortunately for Selena, her, her career seems to be going strong, topping the charts of Billboard in terms of signals, signals and millions of downloads testify to the star's popularity, even after... For Disney career. Now, I looked at number one, and I kind of want to add an honorable mention here. I want to add Justin Bieber. I know. Shoot me. Justin Bieber was caught lip-syncing accidentally, right? He was singing, and all of a sudden, he turned around and threw up on stage, and you know, we was still playing his song. So he was caught lip-syncing as well. I don't know why it's not on the list, though. All right, number one, Mariah Carey in 2016. This isn't, own, this isn't the only video one of Mariah Carey's performances gone wrong. This one's pretty darn bad, though. She seems to realize within about four seconds that there is really no bouncing back and doesn't even attempt to salvage the illusion. At least she has a sense of humor about it. I suppose, but talk about dropping the ball. All right, I want to thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, hit that like button down below, and I will see you in my next video. Also, hit that big fat red subscribe button for me. Peace out, bees.